Hi there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, this month we're going to be taking a look on the energy and influences that might be um, affecting us, that might be happening for us for the month of April. Um, for you guys, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And I'm using a different spread right now. We're in here. We are going to be taking a look on what's going on with you in the present moment. And where this is leading you. And oh, the overall outcome of the situation. And over here, we just have a more of a confirmation card. And gives us a lot more detail on what could be some various key themes and thought topics that we might be encountering um, for the month of April for you guys. And over here, this um, cards over here at the bottom is going to be what I call the soulmates and twin flame love notes to give us more information on, you know, any messages that might come in in terms of our love life, your emotional life, all those kinds of things. And um, yeah, so without any further ado, let's go into the reading. <laughs> so the first card over here is we have here the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. So this gives me a very interesting energy because this is really more of a situation we're in. Um, <laughs> Some of you guys are having, you know, a lot of changes in their life. Like I wanted to to start something new. Maybe there is something that I want I have been planning for quite some time, whether whether it is something personal, um, whether it's something to do with your love life or how you relate with a certain person in your life. Or this could also be, you know, something to do with your career. Like you are making decisions and changes and you keep changing things, you know. So nothing is ever permanent or constant with you right now. It's like you're trying to, you're trying to have a certain goal in mind. But there's always some form of interruptions that might be happening for you. Or, you know, unexpected things might be happening that makes you feel that maybe i need to take a look on the situation a lot more further maybe i need to discover more things maybe i need to learn more things there are things that i need to maybe go back to because this is the eight of cups this is about the this is really more of a situation we're in okay i have decided that this is my goal but um you know there is that situation we're in uh, you wanted to have a stopover <laughs> on the road and think about things once again. So there is some form of reflection that being forced upon you. It could be, you know, maybe you don't want to think about things, but life is making um, events in your life. You know, there are events in your life that just happens that is forcing you to reflect on things to think about things and making you feel that maybe you have not entirely thought about the decisions that you're making and maybe this is also a situation where it makes you feel that you know did i made the wrong choice um am i in the right path there's a lot of questions in your mind basically and um, this could also be a period of uncertainty. And what we're talking about is the present moment, you know. And when I say the present moment, this is something that you have been feeling maybe um, in the last few weeks of March and, or um, in the first few weeks of April. So, you know, um, it, it has that form of vibe. And over here, we're seeing the sun and the four of wands and the knight of swords. And this is really more of a situation we're in, you know, we are seeing some form of forward momentum and then you're stepping back again. And then uh, here comes a situation we're in. Okay, screw it. I kind of feel that I'm seeing some form of um, road opening path over here. This is the situation we're in, you know, something happens 
in your life that makes you really happy. Maybe there's some form of good news that is going to come. This, um, which is really a wonderful thing. I would say that this could be a form of um, situation wherein you finally see a loophole that you can use and grab onto so that you can get out of a messy situation if you are in a messy situation this can also be a situation wherein um some form of happiness is going to be happening in your life some form of forward momentum is going to be occurring and it might be uh, a situation that is quite impulsive and something that is unplanned something spontaneous all those kinds of energies um something abrupt i would say it it, it has that feeling wherein you have a gambler's luck um, kind of um, energy and this is also a situation wherein opportunity is definitely going to be happening for you or going to be opening up for you and you are going to grab hold in that opportunity and you know take action on it this could be a situation especially in terms of your love life maybe you are going to be receiving a message maybe you have been waiting on it you know some form of answers is getting revealed to you you are going to hear from someone there's a lot of discoveries and insightful information that will be entering your life and you are going to be having a sense that finally some form of positive movement is coming in for me and i'm i'm talking about whether this is love or career or whatever aspect of your life you're definitely going to see some form of movement and positive actions to be happening for you this month of april so uh, that is really good news we do have here the hierophant and the king of swords and the two of wands now this however is like giving us some form of um lesson i would say you know or um what is it that you have learned in the past you know are you repeating some form of mistakes or it makes me feel that whatever it is that is going to happen for you soon um it is more of a saving grace kind of energy an opportunity that you should be appreciating on an opportunity that you should be thankful about not an opportunity that you should abuse on you know so i would say that a lot of gemini people are going to need to question their own integrity with how they do things in their life and i'm not saying that you are um a lot of a lot of Gen gemini people are not um a person of integrity that's not really my point at all but this is really more of a situation wherein you might need to question quite a few things with how you view life how you treat people maybe you are uh, abusing someone and it doesn't have to be a very physical way maybe it's a very mental connection or maybe manipulation and all of those kinds of things it's like you know um it's like a, a situation we're in you are being stressful about something that is not working in your life that is not proceeding in the way that you like and then a situation occurs that actually gives you some form of good news and relief regarding this matter and then you you tend to forget you know there is a situation here that you tend to forget the things that has caused you problems and that has caused you miseries and then you end up repeating them so you might need to be reminded about that to to not make the same mistakes or to not abuse a certain situation or a certain person especially if they have given you a second chance or a chance to redeem yourself you know all of those kinds of things you know it's like that situation wherein someone decided to forgive you and decided to talk to you again and decided to be friends with you maybe and then you betray them once again or not really betray them but you end up hurting them um it could be intentionally or unintentionally most of the time 
and you know that can that can give you some form of regret later on you know and it can lead you to some form of a messy situation wherein um this is really more of a situation wherein some form of karmic venture is teaching you something and it will be up to you whether you actually learn from the experience or not i would say that you know um april should be a month for a lot of gemini people to 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 spread your wings and fly and be more optimistic with certain things but you need to draw the line and you need to to have some form of self-discipline and to control yourself um with the things that you say the things that you do it's like uh, it's like that situation we're in um don't go overboard <laughs> you know it's okay to tease people but to um do them in a way that um that uh i would say embarrass them is another issue so that's just a sample that i want to to tell you guys people and i kind of feel that this is going to be a situation wherein you are going to be so excited and so passionate with certain things that you tend to forget um the the big picture or the most important element of your life so um i also would would say that this could also be a situation wherein um something um some form of situation relationship should be taken with great care you know you should not be very impulsive with that situation when we have the two of wands the two of wands is more of a situation wherein you know what it is that you have it's like having a card in your hand but you're not yet playing playing a game you know you know if you're playing poker it's like having your cards in your hands and seeing what kind of cards that you have with you but you're not risking anything so i think that would be the best uh, way to put things with gemini people this month you know um be more be open and have fun do the things that you want do the things that makes you feel happy and i know that eventually you are going to be happy but do not risk anything. So if you feel that something is risky, you know, you might hurt someone or you might step on someone, I kind of feel that is the point wherein you should draw the line and try to stop yourself, you know. Don't try to step on people because I kind of feel that that could create some form of complication, some form of arguments that can happen, some form of misunderstandings and problems can occur with that and not to mention we have here the forgive and forget regrets and obstacles and delay so this could be a situation wherein trust issues can be at the forefront of things wherein um it's about whether you are going to treat a person with sincerity or not you know I also would say that this could also be a situation wherein maybe you are in a relationship with someone and someone goes back into your life. Maybe they are asking for forgiveness and they are regretting whatever it is that you have that the two of you had before. Um, or this could also be a situation wherein, you know, um, there's a lot of emotional. <laughs> puzzles that could be transpiring with you it's like you know it makes you feel that there could be some form of situation in the past that is making you feel regretful it's either you or the other person is being re regretful about the actions that they have taken because they have gone overboard so and it will be up to you whether to repeat that situation again or not of course so there's going to be a lot of thoughts coming into the forefront of things you are going to be thinking about certain things again and maybe if you have treated someone 
um, with not much respect, maybe you have taken them for granted. This is going to be the time where they are going to be thinking more about you or them. Um, or you thinking about them more because you have not treated them um, in a way that they deserve. So there is some form of element into that. Into that. And um, this could also, uh, we have here the twin flame note and we have here untired. And I really like this I'm tired card because this is really more of a situation we're in. There is a back and forth, a push and pull energy that is happening into a, a situation or a relationship. And maybe there are, this is about a relationship we're in. Um, the person A and person B are both stubborn and one person is going to step step down step back and just tell tell themselves that okay i give up you win <laughs> forgive me i'm sorry i really want you back <laughs> so um this is really more of a, a situation we're in um if there is a stalemate in a relationship or in a situation this is the time we're in we need to find a conclusion about certain things this is not about you being stubborn and the other person being stubborn as well. One of you is going to step back for sure. And one of you might need to ask for forgiveness, might ask for an apology of some kind to actually open the path to, um, to unite with that person, to make things work out, you know, those kinds of things. Maybe because... Um, I kind of feel that y you might come to into to in into a conclusion where in uh, this situation is not gonna work <laughs> if we are just going to be um, if you're just going to desire to be right, you know, if if you feel that you're doing the right thing and the other person is believing the same way, um, the two of you will never ever gonna reach a conclusion you know the two of you will never be able to patch things up so this is going to be an important time wherein someone will be able to open themselves to forgive a person you know to either this, this this could be you or the other person uh some form of forgiveness and um regrets might be surrounding them during this time and wanting to apologize to you, wanting to work things out could be at the forefront of things. We have here the thoughts card as well and the sudden wealth and the home card. So we're not really seeing more of the interaction between a relationship or anything like that. But we are seeing here more on the emotions and, and what someone is feeling. So when we have here the thoughts card, this is about you really uh, thinking about thinking about your feelings towards someone, thinking about, you know, this is really more about you making a decision of some kind and really um, shifting the scales or uh, gauging things. Whether should I do this or should I do that? This is about you making a decision that will lead to some form of outcome. And n this is not about you being stubborn with your own beliefs. And this is about you being um, adaptable, you know, uh, being more flexible so that things can actually work and function in a, in a better way. At the same time, um, I kind of feel that this is going to trick this month is going to trigger a lot of your passion, a lot of your creativity as well. You know, you will be uh, more triggered or more engaged to take action. You you want to you want to do something <laughs> this month, I would say. Um, and regardless whether you are the type of person to accept a person from the past or not to forgive someone or not this is going to be a time we're in if opportunities happen for you if some form of path sign or faith comes knocking in your door you are going to be in a situation wherein you are going to be open into that you are going to accept that and you are 
wanting to um reconcile with that situation because um it makes me feel that this is more of a situation we're in we are more open to to visit our skeletons in the closet you know the things that we have turned our back on we are willing to 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 come back to it or to open ourselves to it you know and bring some form of healing and unity with that you know so again this is going to be a month of of either i would say that this this can happen in two different ways wherein there 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 will be some gemini people or gemini oriented people wherein they are going to be filled with regrets or filled with um emotional blockages or emotion emotional feelings wherein they they end up thinking a lot about the past a lot about what they have done um how they should not have done this they should not have done that you know a lot about regrets and um problems in life wherein you know they are having that I internal monologue inside of them on the things that they wish they have done the wish that the wishes that they they want to to actually happen and manifest into reality and for some some uh, gemini oriented people this is going to be a situation wherein yes things are going to be coming into their head they are going to be thinking about it they're going to be feeling the energies but they are willing to actually open themselves up to to i would say to be the better person you know to be the one who is going to be more giving so that the relationship works you know so it really depends what type of gemini are you are you the type of person that is going to be too focused and too fixated with your stubborn ego or are you going to be willing to step down so that we finally find some form of peace finally find some form of conclusion resolution and reconciliation to a certain thing so my advice is that if the other person is not backing off maybe this is the time for you to actually step back and have that idea in your head have that idea in your mind that is it better to be stubborn and to force that i am right or is it better to actually save a relationship or is it better to save um some form of higher higher good situation that you're in you know i mean this can be happening whether in career personal life family life friendships and love life so it really depends you know and this is about you seeing through what is really important you know is your ego more important than the relationship or is the relationship more important than your pride so that is going to be the focusing energy for a lot of you gemini people so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me this is my reading for you guys gemini people and if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you and your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month by the way i do have a facebook group community wherein i do share my readings my astrology insights and i do teach astrology and tarot uh, for free in that community if you are interested with that just go ahead and join in with me and i'll leave the link down below the, this video description of this video so um yeah i'll see you guys again next time and yeah